Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new here, today's video, I'm just gonna be getting ready for a little lunch, early dinner date with my best friend. So I figured I'd just sit down and film it because why not? We're pushing out more content. We'll be more consistent for the month of April. So yeah, if you guys wanna get ready with me, uh, let's just get right into the video so we're not here all day. Um, and I'm not gonna be doing my hair today because I already did it. But if you're curious how I did do it, I just put some regular curls in it and then I used a smoothing brush. The smoothing brush is key to like the effortless kind of I woke up like this vibe. So I have my brush link down below for you guys, but yeah, let's just get right into the video. Kelly, can you handle it? <laughs> Is that even from this song? I'm gonna put some pins in my hair just to get my hair out my way. If you're staring at my hair and you're like Asia, it looks crazy. It's all my hair growing back that fell out from postpartum life so do not judge me at least we're regrowing okay and she's growing back quick and fast quick and fast that's the same thing girl quick and long but she's definitely looking very messy like i need some edge control i need some hairspray it's just a lot going on at the top this section just always looks so messy so don't judge me but let's just get right into the makeup. I don't have anything to talk about today. Let's just keep it quick and simple. I mean, I'll talk to you guys about something. But I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I already like prepped my skin this morning with vitamin C and um, moisturizer that has SPF in it. You know what's so funny? Ever since I started using SPF, that's when I really started seeing really big changes in my skin too. Obviously, you guys know I was using Curology, which did wonders for my skin then also used clindamycin when i was pregnant um but also adding spf into the mix of all of that wow that's when my skin really was getting a round of applause you guys know if you watch my old makeup videos that my skin used to be doing its own thing she had a mind of her own you know we all go through hormonal acne but it was giving very much i was a teenager still so i'm happy to have that in my skin together um and i don't really break out anymore which is kind of crazy and if i do it's like one little small one i'm gonna just spray in spray on spray in some desi do me over prep set and refresh face mist just to get some moisture in her you know nothing too fancy not the whole wet chest now just a wet t-shirt contest girl um but yeah i just want to hang out with you guys you guys know i kind of like fell off the bag bandwagon a little bit after i had enzo during my pregnancy honestly the last two years I miss having other types of content to, to produce other than vlogs um i love vlogs and i love sharing my daily life with you guys but i also just like sitting here and chit chatting with you so yeah that's pretty much all that's going on um i'm trying to think what should we do first should we go into primer should we do eyebrows i don't really know at five o'clock the sun is still gonna be up i'm gonna go with the laura mercier pure canvas primer if i don't mention what i'm using i'll have it on screen for you guys um but like the sun is gonna still be up a little bit obviously it's not gonna be like some hectic friday night because she's pregnant you know it's not giving the old us it's giving the new and improved mom version of us which i'm not mad at i hope everybody's doing okay i just was vlogging before i turned on this camera and i was talking to you guys about how like i've been feeling like very not like me and i just feel like very tested emotionally wise and every aspect in my life and i asked alexa when was the last full moon and apparently the last full moon was this morning which explains a lot for me every single time there's a full moon i'm always like nothing ever happens to me thank goodness you know like let's keep it that way but i always see things and i'm just like what is going on with everything and everybody around me and it's always when it's a full moon so yeah, it makes sense why I'm kind of feeling kind of wonky, kind of crazy. But that's pretty much all that's been going on with me. So I remember it's just like, what the hell is going on in the universe? I'm going to turn my mic to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, So, yeah. You guys, I'm off to a hectic start. It's this full moon. I'm trying to tell you. I don't want to wipe it on my jammies because my jammies are my new skin. It's okay. Um, ooh, this is dark. 5.5 definitely my color but five wasn't either so i'm confused i'm confuzzled like five or no maybe it wasn't five maybe it was like four or something but it like literally just blended right into my skin and it didn't give oh no we're doing good okay false alarm it wasn't giving like that glow that 
everyone was like preaching about with this product so i had the full size of this i bought it at sephora and i returned it because i did use it and i just didn't see anything fascinating happen and i was like wow people like love this product and i want to love it too <laughs> You guys know how I am. I'm always like, but wait, like, am I missing something? Like, same thing with Skims. Like, when everybody was preaching about how much they love Skims and the boxer shorts and stuff, and I bought them, and I was like, yeah, they're not for me. I'm not crazy about them. It wasn't that the product wasn't great. It was that the product didn't look good on my body. Um, but then I shopped around on Skims, and I definitely found what worked for me because now I love skims um it's just definitely about knowing what works for you in your body type because not everything is for everybody you know what i'm saying um but this was one of those things and i was like damn i spent a lot of money on that and i'm not blown away and even right now i can see why the girls love it like she gives a nice little subtle glow but she's definitely not what they be raving about you know like they've been making the same like She's going to wash away your sins and get rid of your double chin and stuff. And that's not what she's doing for me. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll keep the mini size. She's cute for, like, when I have a tan because I'm about to go on vacation. But definitely don't need the full size. So, for foundation, I think I'm going to go in with the NARS, the new NARS one. The light reflecting. Yesterday, I tried to buy the new Makeup Forever foundation yet again. And she was still sold out in my shade. So, clearly, it's not meant to be. I ain't mad at it, you know, help me save some money. It's cool, it's whatever. So I'm gonna just take a pump or two of this on the back of my hand in the shade Syracuse because Tahoe is just a little too dark for me right now. And how fun is it to do your makeup? I actually need more than that. How fun is it to do your makeup when your brushes are clean? Don't you just instantly feel like your life is not in shambles when you like get around to cleaning your makeup brushes? Because please let me know it's not just me. Um, I don't do my makeup that often, so I don't have to wash my brushes that often. But when I do get around to it, I enjoy seeing a clean brush. So I'm just taking a flat brush and just spreading it around my face. You guys already know my vibes. I never do like crazy makeup. I just like looking like me, but better, you know? I just like looking like an enhanced version of myself. It's when I feel the prettiest because... I mean, I think I'm beautiful either way, but you know, just evening on my skin tone, making my eyebrows a little popping or whatever. If you guys see me looking this way, I'm looking in the viewfinder, um, but and in the mirror too. But I definitely feel like I like this foundation. It's way more lightweight than the All Day Luminous, um, but still like amazing coverage. I love Nars. I feel like Nars just could do no wrong with foundations except for the soft matte i have that i think my skin is just a little too dry for it but i also only ever used it once so then again don't quote me on that but yeah definitely just trying to find my rhythm again it's super hard you guys know enzo is so busy he's literally the busiest and the greediest baby ever his dad always says he's so greedy because like he's african um like his dad's african and he was like like he gets that from that his side of the family but enzo loves asian food as well like I could give Enzo some soy sauce, eggs, and rice, and he's in heaven. So I just feel like he just likes food. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's been going on with us. Like nothing like groundbreaking or anything. It's just like figuring out a balance where I could work and I don't take a lot away. I don't take a lot of time away from the kids or anything like that because I don't know. I just have been wanting to spend so much time with them i just feel like time is moving so fast like enzo's gonna be one soon which is crazy i feel like i literally just was pregnant and then i just feel like harper is like turning into like her own little person because she's about to be eight and i'm just like <laughs> filming could wait filming got filming got a week because my babies are not gonna be babies much longer it's so crazy but yeah just put some brow gel in my eyebrows i don't know why i did that first thinking looking back I probably shouldn't have done it, but it's cool. It's whatever. Um, I'm gonna get a brow pencil, and I'm gonna go into the brow area and do that really quickly off camera. Um, so I will be right back. <laughs> All right, eyebrows are done. They probably don't look much different to you guys because I literally just take a pencil and underline them and like darken the tail. And that's it because my eyebrows are so dark that honestly you could never tell the difference i wish i had those types of brows where i could do like hair strokes and they just look like light wispy and airy but because my natural eyebrows are so dark and so full i cannot so yeah now that the foundation has set a little bit i'm gonna go in with the 
Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and just do it like a little a little layer that wasn't little but a little layer of that just to get her locked and loaded right um I'm trying to think do we want to do eyeshadow today I don't know I feel like I'm in a frisky mood but I don't have frisky eyeshadows I've been loving this makeup by Mario palette Wow, I wish I would have got it sooner it's so funny because I talked myself out of it so many times because I was like you don't do eyeshadow but now that I have it I always want to which is so funny so I'm gonna just let's see let's just dive in right let's just see what we could come up with so I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, basically matte four, which is this little guy right here. And this is like a fluffy tapered brush. Um, it's by Sonia Castro. <laughs> it's called Tapered Blending. Look at me knowing my stuff. Wow, she's a professional. Um, and I'm just gonna like fluff this into the crease. Nothing too serious since it'll still be daytime outside. And we're gonna be having lunch outside. Hopefully, if the weather permits, it should because it's 75 degrees on a Friday, and that's one drink away from 80. Okay, that's my type of party. Um, so I'm just gonna like lightly buff this in. I don't want anything too dark. I just want to look like a natural little crease moment because I have like funny eyelids, so I always have to like make it do what it do, baby. Um, I was watching Amina's YouTube channel earlier. I'll have her channel linked down below if you guys don't know who she is. I also put her Instagram right here. And she's from New York. So <laughs> I just was cracking up. I love how New York people talk. And it's so funny because, I mean, we live like close to each other. Like Philly and New York people are pretty similar lingo wise. But New York people, they have like their own vocabulary. And it's just so funny to hear. You would think I should be used to it by now because I have a lot of friends from New York. Um... Oh, but it just gets better and better. Like every time you hear somebody like have their own conversation with themselves in their own lingo. And she just was cracking me up. She went to Miami by herself for her birthday. And I was like, that's such a vibe. It like really inspired me to do like a solo vacation when Enzo's off the boob. Like to just spend some time with myself. I have, I have had like one little solo vacation before. And I wasn't mad at it. I felt like I really enjoyed having the time to myself to do whatever I wanted and on my schedule and to just really enjoy my own company. Like I feel like that's part of becoming an adult is really understanding and loving and enjoying your own company. I feel like when I was younger, literally up until two years ago, I was very dependent on other people's um, presence to do things. Like the idea of going out to eat or something by myself was like, oh, that's weird. Why would I do that? But now I dig it. I'm just like, you know, I would love to do some more of that, especially because I have two kids. I feel like it'll be very healthy for me to date myself, you know, and just really focus on me um, and then focus on everybody else in my life because I feel like you can definitely not forget yourself. So, yeah, seeing her little vlog was so inspiring and she just is so funny. You should definitely watch her if you don't. Um, but yeah, I don't really watch YouTube anymore, funny enough, because I just don't have the time to which is crazy because like this is my job but I just don't have the time to sit down and watch people's videos and I, I do try to especially like because I like to go comment on their stuff like to boost the algorithm for them um but usually I just watch a couple minutes or like I skip to what I found piqued my interest like in the title and then I click out of it unfortunately or like I save it to, for later because Enzo just don't be letting me hang out with my girlfriends on the tube I'm going in with Matt 8 which is this like darker color and I'm just fluffing that like on top of it um but and this is the bigger fluffy brush it's also from Sonia Catrick this is the rounded crease I really like her brushes but yeah that's really crazy right I feel so bad because I'm always like oh my gosh I love watching people's videos because they inspire me like seeing other females do the same thing as you it literally is like okay you know and it especially when we're all feeling the same way I'm just like this is so crazy my nose is running per use but whatever I mean another thing I have um what's it called I'm blinking per usual it's the it's the postpartum brain what is it called when your nose runs <sighs> I don't know y'all know what I'm talking about though if it comes back to me when I'm editing I'll put the word on screen um but I feel like just watching other content creators push out beautiful content it just definitely just pushes me a little bit harder because I feel like sometimes I'm just like I don't feel like it or I just need to focus on me or I just get in my head whatever is going on with me in that exact moment um but 
I'm definitely watching the girls create like beautiful vlogs and um beautiful sit down videos it's just like yes i needed this so when i do experience that feeling i definitely do try to watch but definitely wish i had more time too so as you guys can see like the mess they just blend so good it's just like the shades that everybody needs for a makeup look and definitely me like i don't know how to do anything outside of neutrals you guys know i was literally the type of girl that was just taking my bronzers into my lid which is nothing it's nothing wrong with that i'm still that girl but this just makes me feel like I got my together a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go in with matte too, which is like this bony color, which is like more true to my skin tone. I'm going to pat her off and then I'm just going to go on the lid with it. If you guys are wondering, that look that I wore to the Sixers game, it basically was exactly what I'm doing. But I did have a concealer, like cut crease to like help me place the shadow and then i just smoked out the lash line but it's literally the exact same thing i plan on like doing that video when the time permits for it but i couldn't do that makeup look to go sit outside at 5 p.m or people are gonna be thinking like it's giving very much lunch at 5 p.m and got a late night gig at nine okay and that's not the type of vibes i'm trying to give especially not on Britain house square so yeah we're just giving bright airy and effortless she's looking very cute in the monitor I must say so myself. I'm gonna go back into matte four, which is the color we initially started out with, with that tapered brush. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit more just to like buff out that cream color. But again, this is the lighter nude that we took. So it's not gonna like do anything substantial. It's just gonna make sure everything is blended and seamless. I feel like I love when my makeup looks just no lines, no traces, you know? So. I think that's all we're gonna do for eyeshadow today. Um, if we wanna come back and revisit that, we will. But I think for right now, I like how she looks for daytime fun. So for contour, cream, bronzer, vibes, blush, and um, concealer, I have these three right here. So we have the Bobbi Brown foundation stick that we're gonna use to sculpt Too Faced Concealer for under the eye and the Rare Beauty liquid blush. So I'm gonna do under the eye first. Um, I feel like sometimes I don't care for this foundation. And I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, that's really nice. I feel like it's very dependent on my base prep and also my mood, weirdly enough. I'm just taking it like up the size of the nose. <sighs> um, so we could do that down the bridge. You guys know the vibes. Wow, remember how we were doing our makeup when we were kids without YouTube and we just was out here with a little bit of mascara and concealer that was way too bright because there were there were no 40 shades back when i was a teenager um looking crazy you know and like super pink lipstick because that's when mac was like in like the snob era and we didn't know what lip liner was or we were wearing lip liner and nothing else and now these girls that are 15 or something i.e jody woods they faces be beat child like 15 year old me could never <laughs> she could never 25 year old me still can never like i'd be like damn jody where's the youtube video at like i'm curious i want to know what the vibes is good <laughs> her makeup be looking so good and she's so i mean i'm sure sometimes she gets her makeup done but still literally our puberty is not the same as their puberty and i love that for them but it's also like y'all don't even know what it feels like to be it feels like to experience like that insecure phase because we didn't wear makeup you know now it's like they be going to school beat down but uh, what a different time we live in so i'm just gonna blend everything else out that's not the under eye um and we're gonna see what the vibes are giving when we blend that out oh my gosh my nose matched the vibe who is she she's giving monochromatic mommy um, I'm so excited to go hang out with Jaylen. You guys know Jaylen is one of my closest friends and she's currently pregnant with her first child. It's been a really nice experience for us just because like I'm the youngest friend and I have two kids and then uh, Jay is the middle friend and she's now having a baby and it's just been like a nice bonding experience for us that now I get to talk about parenting stuff with her and I really appreciate the fact that she trusts me so much with just like anything that pertains to baby items like she really values my opinion which means a lot to me because it, it means that she trusts me as a person you know to be like well how did you feel about this like and if i say i wasn't too crazy she'd be like oh okay next like she just mixes it off her list um and i just have really been enjoying spending like this part of her life with her like this is a very monumental moment for my friends so 
all my friends were all at different walks in life and I just love being there for every big moment for everybody um and we're just all very different but we all mesh very well but I am gonna go into the Bobbi Brown stick which I have been really enjoying and I'm going to I wasn't supposed to do that the girls say don't go straight in with the product the girls say use the brush um, I'm gonna blend this in and then like if I feel like we need a little bit more concealer then we'll add some but I don't want to go too cakey under the under eye and then commit to that you know because you can't take it away so I like to definitely just start little by little and kind of see where we're going I have my Bobbi Brown stick in the shade cool walnut so I feel like it's a really nice color for bronzing and stuff like that because it's not too too orange but it's also not pulling gray on me so it looks pretty i'm sure she was pricey because she was a foundation stick but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes you know i'm going a little bit higher i don't know if you guys could tell that i'm not going down this way i'm going a little bit on top of that so that way it pulls my face up i have a funny little face that things could literally so quickly get lost and drag my face down so i have to be very mindful about placement like if i don't you'll definitely be able to tell the difference and i'll look sad and i don't want to look sad so i'm just gonna blend this in oh my gosh there's like a little piece of hair on my cheek or something i'm gonna feel it because a good makeup day and a good hair day is the type of day i need okay because that full moon mm, i don't need that type of energy in my life i don't i rebuke it i take the rare beauty blush and joy this stuff is so pigmented it scares me Every time I use it, it scares me. And then I'm just like, oh, that's so pretty though. But I'm literally going to go like this. And is my face not symmetrical or is where I'm placing my product not symmetrical? Who knows? I'm going to go in with the brush first. Um, and then do you see how pigmented it is? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Why does my face in the viewfinder look like I have like a filter on? Like it looks like it's like pulling my eyes back, you know, like the Instagram filters. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. But super pretty, right? Super natural. You just have to put in some elbow grease to blend it out. I like the vibes that we're giving for the face. It's not giving too much. It's just giving just enough, which is what I'm trying to go for today. So I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury spray one more time just to really have everything looking below a list and then for under eye setting powder i'm gonna grab my mineral veil not mineral veil hourglass veil powder you guys know my material girl now so i picked this up um she's cute i like her i don't mind her i have all my other setting powders in here as well but i definitely think she's very cute should we add a little bit of a brandy concealer hmm it's on to know i don't know how i feel about that i think i'm gonna contour my nose a little bit just because she's looking a little left out you know she's looking like don't nobody love her make sure there's no creases under my under eye maybe we should brighten up just a smidge just a smidge let me see what concealers i got though please so for my little tart shape tape and medium tan sandwich i'm sure is like literally the same color but i'm literally that looks darker than the tweet face does it i'm gonna just put it right here like i'm not gonna go anywhere further uh and i'm just gonna go like this just to really plop the product in one part and that way it's not like eating product up like a sponge but not that the sponge really like eats the product up but sometimes i do find it shares it out just a smidge just a little bit yeah you could definitely see the difference so i'm gonna go in with the sponge very lightly to make sure there's no harsh edges to the product like to the concealer we just put like i still wanted to blend in with the blush and the cream contour um it's so funny because it doesn't matter what products i use whether they're drugstore or high-end my makeup always comes out the same um so i'm gonna grab my powder and i'm gonna make sure there's no creases and i'm gonna go into the powder and i'm gonna go half right there so that it's like an even seamless layer Mm, mm, look how she ate that. Look how she ate that. 
<laughs> all right and i'm not gonna leave any, anything on there too too long i don't know why i'm doing that because this brush is clean but i'm just gonna go and lightly dust all the powder away there's nothing on this brush by the way if you are like super gentle and just really take the time out your day to buff out powder I don't feel like I don't need like a powder to do it. Even though the people that I've seen do it, it does make like a really effortless look. But I feel like that's I like that look for like a move more full coverage glam. Like I'm not trying to go like super full coverage. I'm just trying to do like look at me. It's giving effortless the whole time. It took me an hour and thirty minutes. You know. To set the bronzer, you guys already know, it's giving MAC Dark Deep because I've yet to find another bronzer that's better. Um, that's just my personal opinion. If you guys have a bronzer recommendation, please let me know because this bronzer is crying to be put down. But I can never find a color that's better. I'm taking a Morphe Jaclyn Hill collab JH07. It's like a tapered brush. I've been super into a more focused bronzer application rather than like a big fluffy brush and it kind of going everywhere. Um, it's kind of what I've been doing lately. I feel like I've been enjoying having more control over placement lately. Oh gosh, there's a piece of hair over here. For highlighter, I just had my highlighter. What did I do with it? Oh, turns out I actually never put it out. I'm gonna use the deep. Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> Dior. Dior. Do we need to have a talk? Like, not for the price I paid for her. We're gonna go with the Dior highlighter. I can't even lift her up. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And I'm gonna kinda just mix all of them together. All right, so to finish up the eyes, um, I'm not gonna take any more eyeshadow. I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush I used in the beginning just to make sure that the shadow and the concealer kind of blend. I don't really like having like a harsh line and I shouldn't have one if I blend my makeup out right. But just to make sure, I just like to make sure everything is blended really good right here. There's literally a piece of hair living on my face and I cannot take it. I have all of these lash trays. If you guys watched my last Get Ready With Me, I also touched into how I do them. But if you're new here, no worries, do not fret. I got you, girl. Um, So I take the Kiss Falscara. Ideally, I would have never put mascara on, but I'm just going to put it on top of the mascara because I don't plan on doing like a super heavy look. So it's not the end of the world. I did it before because I made the same mistake before, but I don't know. My mind just kind of blinked. Um, I've been lash clusters on um, Amazon because they're always sold out. So like if the one I links are not working for you, that's fine. So like I have these ones right here. Let me make sure it focuses. They're a little bit wider. Um, they're like a bigger cluster. And then I also have these ones, which are a smaller cluster and I picked these up recently because those bigger ones I really like them but I was cutting them and I was like why would you sit here and waste your time and cut them when you could just buy smaller ones so that's exactly what I did because I'm gonna go in I think with a 14 um, and I just have these little tools right here and then you go under the lash line which is why I really really like them because it just looks so stinking natural and because I don't need my eyelashes done every day, one, it saves me money. And even though it takes me some time, I kind of enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. It feels very fun to sit here and kind of map on my own eye. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to hold and I'm going to go boop. So you guys see that little length right there? And I'm just going to go back and forth between 14s and 16s and then kind of go into the middle and see how I feel about a more elongated KI. And I'll check in with you guys in a second. All right, so eyelashes are done. And as you can see, I stopped like right at the beginning. First of all, I can't even tell because, yeah, like right at the inner corner, but where it my eyeball ends so obviously the dark part of your eye is where i ended them because i just wanted it to be more airy and light and fluffy love the vibes i also added a little layer of um mascara to my bottom lashes which i never do but something new and fresh for the girls and i'm gonna go in with the makeup forever limitless brown lip liner i just got this and then i'm gonna go with this and i'm gonna do the bottom lip. And 
and then finish. I feel like when I do that, I can get more of like a defined little lippy area and then just do the regular little lines. Really nice lip liner. Was she worth $20? Maybe, I don't really, I'm not really a lip liner person, but she's cute, I like her, I like her a lot actually. Um, and then I'm gonna take a random little brush and I'm just gonna diffuse the edges a little bit because when you have like a base layer on your lips, lip liner can be very intense very quickly. Then I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna go goop. And then I'm going to blend her off. Are you guys like looking at me like what the hell am I doing yet? The NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. Look how she ate that y'all. Stop. Is you shitting me right now? Is you dead ass? That's my New York accent. That's all I got. So let me sit up straight because I was like kind of slumping from doing my lashes and I was singing my scissor. Then Kalani came on and then Janae Aiko and I was like, whoa, it's giving very much vibes and I was here for it. You know when your playlist just is on shuffle and it's just doing the damn thing? So yeah, that's the lippy with just concealer and a little bit of gloss. And like that's a very sheer pink gloss. Like it doesn't have much color to it. Um, I'm trying to see if I like my hair with the middle part. Like, should we do a side part today? She's cute. Oh my god. But she looks a little dressed up. I don't think I have a fit for this hairstyle. I'm feeling it. I'm loving the look. So, yeah, that was today's final makeup look. I hope you guys have fun getting ready with me. I know it's nothing spontaneous and new and fresh on my channel that I look like this at the end. But, however... It is what it is. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see more of these videos, obviously let me know. The next one is going to be a chit chat. I plan on doing like either an Asia's Corner or just addressing some things that I've mentioned in vlogs or maybe answering your assumptions. No, I'm not. But yeah, so I'm going to go figure out what I'm wearing. Um, I'll try to record like a little clip at the end and just include it in this note. Matter of fact, if you want to know what I wore and see me on my little lunch date, then tune into Sundays. Um, I'll link Sundays because you guys are seeing this way later. But love the base. I feel like this is just giving summer, spring glow, pretty from within, very natural, very subtle. But hey, it's me, but better. You know, I'm on my A game today, and I can honestly do this makeup look in like 10 to 15 minutes, which is even better. Um, and I love the eyelash hack because I get to take them off when I come home. I get to rub my eyes every single night, and then when I'm ready to look like this. It only takes like 10 to 15 minutes. Like you definitely get the hang of it if you don't mess up with the mascara like I did. But other than that, I love this little trick. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, all that fun stuff. You know the vibes. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.